Hey everybody, it's Eduardo here with your draft stream Saturday update. <sighs> there go that man again. You know him. You loathe him. You fear him. You have to respect him. It's Gamble 24x7. G24, the homie, in the top two spots. Boxing out Jaybird and his little caboose. The caboose is loose, his little mini train. Trying to repeat what he did last week, but right now is, I guess he's splitting third. Or enjoy that. Well, I guess, well, I guess you can't split third. I guess you're just taking third place money if you've got third and fourth. And with me in fifth, on the outside looking in, what was me? And actually, fifth and sixth spots. But I do have a nice sizable low on the, on the low ball bonus. Watch my dust. And I'll just, of course, roll over the $15 bonus into next week's talent pool. So, let's see what perfection looks like. Well, it looks like an optimal stack of in the long run. I did not see that coming. Aegis Elba with a wig in the, in the 80s. <laughs> the Eastmans in London. West Indian family. The dra dramedy? Comedy? On stars. Occupies the heartbeat of the perfect call sheet. Headliner stack of Equinox. Never can go wrong with foreign dramas on Netflix, let me tell you. Last Man Stick. Oh, you know what? Kudos to Last Man Standing. You, you, you got your checks for nine seasons. Good for you. Headliner stack of The Rookie. We do not support that show here, but good on them for this game. And then Vikings. going Also going out with, in style in its final season with Catherine Winnick. Also headlining over in Big Sky. Interesting show if you haven't checked it out yet. So that's what perfection looks like. 1410.19. G24, the homie. Just a few points off of that perfect call sheet score. What's he working with over here? He's got the Equinox headliner stack. He's got the In the Long Run Season 3 optimal stack. Lunarca, RuPaul's Drag Race. And he also shares the headliner stack from the rookie as well so all right you might have a little wiggle room looks like rupaul's drag race oh just debuted yesterday so maybe some of those scores will start rolling in from the audience side the rookie season three debuts sunday so this so we actually will have movement not on sunday but definitely at the final results on monday afternoon all right so he's basically got a lead on himself what does the competition have to do to take him down jaybird you and your in your little mini train aka the caboose well the caboose is not quite that loose it is stuck in third i like the optimal stack here of in the long run you nail it Apparently, y'all nailed that one. I missed that somehow. Yeah, both you and G24, the homie, got the optimal stack of in the long run. Cleaning up. Okay, interesting. Foreign drama and Sundance now. That score looks a little light. Is it missing scores? No, all the scores are counted for. It's, it's Metacritic did not like it. Metacritic, the haters over there, the tough graders, the ones who refuse the curve. They're the ones holding down, cleaning up. All right. So you are only trailing G24 by 22 points-ish. About 22 points from first. What do you need to have happen to get into the top spot? Well, you need more out of Monarca. Right now, you're barely making value as a headliner. Maybe the rookie will also show improve, but... The rookie is also shared by your fellow combatants, so you need some help from Mon Monarca, it looks like. And last man stand, Ugh, yeah, I, I guess you're getting you know bang for your buck. Eight thousand will get you one hundred twenty six point seven seven. That's some really good value right there. Well done, D gentlemen. Uh, okay, fine. Let's look at my call sheet. What do I have to do? Mm, well, Equina. Oh, you know, I've got I've got an optimal stack of the rookie. So maybe the rookie coming through will help me some. I also need help from Monarca. 
I don't see a pathway to victory here because I don't. I simply do not have enough in the long run season three. And that, my bad. Let's see what the draft mom is up to. Brown baby right now holding down eighth place. Ooh, almost 200 points off of the top spot. Yes, we are due for a coaching sesh next week, draft mom. Uh, what failed you this week? Well, Alaska is a drag. Uh, it's actually not bad. It's decent value. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Eh, it's not bad either. Elizabeth is missing. These are all solid scores, but you know these two right here are kind of expensive. Equinox is fine. Monarcha is fine. Oh, here it is. The Minimalists. Okay. So, yeah. So, here you are definitely losing value. Both these, you're barely making value. But you know what? To win this game, you have to exceed value. 9.7x is not going to cut it. That is the bare minimum of value you need. We'll look at look at our look at our guys up top here. 14.01 points per thousand. 14.04. 13.93. And then here you are, Draft Bomb. Valiant, you know, as ever, but 12.15. You're, you're going to need to do a bit better. And it looks like it was uh, the Minimalists living down to their name, holding you back. Minimal value here. Not going to cut it in our beloved Draft Stream game. We love you, Mom. You'll do better next week. We hope. Fingers crossed. Uh, what other interesting call sheets we can take a look at? Ring balls! Welcome back to the game, ring balls. Thanks for taking the year out in style with us. We know you're a working man. It's hard for you to play, so we appreciate your time and efforts. Yeah, so you went Stars and Scrubs. Cobra Kai. It is actually our leading point getter this week, but in the week where, where points were easily had by cheaper options... 19,200 for William Zabka, 19,100 for Ralph Macchio. Apparently, the money could have been spent a little bit better. It was there. The differentiation between our top score for Cobra Kai and the next top score, what was that? I think that was. What was that? Uh, Elizabeth is missing 111, the rookie 111. Oh, actually. Well, five points is is you know it's it's some separation, but not enough to justify apparently the more than five thousand dollars in salary difference that cost to go stars and scrubs. Even if it is an affinity pick, I love Cobra Kai too. I watched the first three episodes of the new season of season three, uh, New Year's Day. So shout out to them. And then the rest of your... Oh, and here's here's what held you back. Right here, the watch. Ooh, yeah, you went big on the watch. One, two, three, four, a five pack on the watch. BBC America. It is below a default score. You hate to see it. 64.80. Our default scores are 69.50. Yeah, that, that's what held your call sheet back. But once again, we appreciate you putting in a call sheet to finish the year. One of our Cinema Draft OGs. Ring balls will always have a spot on the podcast and in our hearts. Let's take a quick look at the low ball, what the perfect low looks like. Yeah, and we saw this coming from a network broadcast away. Call me Cat. Blech. Fox series, brand new show starring Mayim Bialik, who was who I think even won Emmys as you know side chick uh, Amy Farah Fowler on who ends up marrying Sheldon on The Big Bang Theory gets her own vehicle. The trailers look terrible. The reviews are terrible. We haven't even had an audience score yet because this thing debuts Sunday night. But fifty two point seven five, truly hot garbage, which means it's anchoring our lowball call sheet. Because it's so cheap, you need to make up salary somewhere, and that's where yearly departed comes in. A respectable 80.70 uh, base level score, and at 10,200, I totally mispriced this, but you need it to make up the salary difference to get to 75,000 minimum to qualify for the low ball bonus. So you got a three pack of that, a three a day player three stack of that, and then you have for the all important necessary third actor from a different title. 
You have uh, Joel Everest from Two Ways Home for a total budget seventy five thousand one hundred. Only 649.40 points. And yes, it is yours truly. In the driver's seat. About, uh, yeah, almost 50 points lower than G24, the homie. And I did it on the backs of, yes, I have a five-pack of Call Me Cat. I have dead day player stacks of Yearly Departed and Two Ways Home. With Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Albeit at 101 points, kind of pricey, but I needed that all-important five-figure salary to make up the difference. Okay, so that's pretty much our update. It's the new year. We all are more than happy enough to step into 2021. Leave that old garbage behind. We're starting new, we're starting fresh, we're starting with some victory, we're starting with a potential lowball victory for your boy. We're starting off, I guess, as we left last year with the two main top money winners in the draft stream game battling out for first, second, and third. But we will do better this year, damn it. We will have a working game for you. You will push buttons instead of copy paste. You will enjoy incredible UI UX experience brought to you by senior UI UX developer, designer, Palak Thuria. You will enjoy real money and cryptocurrency wins in 2021. Thank you all for playing. Thank you all for hanging in there with us. I'll be back tomorrow in your inbox late, of course, after NFL Football Sunday, my last Red Zone Blitz eight-hour marathon NFL Football Sunday of the season. And then we get back to our normal schedule of updates around 1 or 2 p.m. Pacific time. And then, of course, the final, the final results and new talent pool preview will come sometime Monday after 12 p.m. Pacific time. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for playing. And, of course, thank you so much for your data. We'll be back talking to you on Monday afternoon with the new stuff. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy 2021. All blank sign and all of that. I'll see y'all on Monday. Holla at you, boy.